SOLIDWORKS 2019 is jam-packed with improvements to help you work more efficiently and get your designs out the door quicker than ever before. Some of these improvements are brand new tools like the new slice command, while other improvements are great enhancements to existing tools. For example, the projected curve is now more capable than ever. So let's talk about these and other enhancements to core part modeling in SOLIDWORKS 2019. First, let's look at some improvements to the design workflow for mesh or scan data. Because it's becoming ever more common to incorporate mesh and scan data in our 3D designs, SOLIDWORKS 2018 first introduced tools to help leverage this data to create production parts, and these have been greatly improved on in 2019 with the addition of several new tools. Let's take a look. This handle originated as mesh data. SOLIDWORKS can open a wide variety of mesh data like this 3MF file. As you can see, this is a mesh body, and to leverage this body to build a solid model, a new slicing tool is available to create intersection sketches through the mesh body. Just pick a starting plane, then define the number of planes and offset. The slicing planes and sketches are organized in a folder and can be edited to position the sketches in the desired locations. Once positioned to your liking, the mesh body can be hidden. These new sketches can be used like any other sketch to create a solid body. For example, a surface loft will be created to define the shape of the handle. The new slicing tool allows users to easily repurpose mesh data and even other imported geometry to create solid models. This handle will be designed in two halves. So to continue the design workflow, the split command can be used to create two bodies split at the central plane. A logo needs to be applied on each of the halves, so a sketch will be created and a sketch block will be applied and positioned from the design library. To apply the logo, we'll use the project curve command. In SOLIDWORKS 2019, projected curves now support multiple open or closed contours, can be projected onto multiple bodies, and a new bi-directional option is available to project in both directions. The logo is then created in a single feature. Previously, this would have taken two sketches and four projected curves. Now this won't just clean up the tree, but it will save a lot of time. Now as the design progresses, let's take a look at another enhancement for working with surfaces. This power button is a surface model that contains several holes that need to be removed. Now previously, these holes could be removed by selecting the edges of a hole and hitting the delete key, but this method was not easily discoverable. Now in SOLIDWORKS 2019, a delete hole button is available, as well as a property manager for editing. The holes are removed and the surface is now watertight. As we look over the assembly, an interference is suspected between the cable and the handle part, and a quick interference detection confirms our suspicion. But did you notice that? This is a multi-body part. Interference detection is now supported for multi-body parts in SOLIDWORKS 2019. Now to address this interference, the new partial chamfer tool will be used. Now the length of fillets and chamfers can be controlled. There are various options available to control the start and end offset, or the on-screen handles can be dragged to locate the ends of the chamfer. Asymmetric fillets and chamfers are supported as well. This new capability will save time and will reduce the number of features. When your tree is simpler, it typically means it took less steps to get the job done, amounting to huge time savings. The new delete hole and improved project curve command perfectly illustrate this concept. As you can see, part modeling in SOLIDWORKS 2019 just got a whole lot better.